Layout of a proof? Parallelogram congruent triangles. All right, let's take a look back at what we've got. This looks very similar to the proofs that we've just done, but it's slightly different. We've got our parallelogram, and I've made the two parallel t top and bottom ones green on the outside and these two red on the outside, so they're a little easier to see. We've got our statement table with statements and reasons. We've got our given and our proof, like we should, okay? So our given is that line AB is parallel to DC. The green one is parallel to the green one, see? And that the two reds are parallel. AD is parallel to BC. AD is parallel to BC. They want us to prove that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC. ADC and ABC. Well, I only see a parallelogram. What's going on? Guess what? It's a hint. Two triangles make things easier to prove. So, if they want to see two triangles, we need to create two triangles, which means we need to draw a bisecting line through the angles. We need to draw a diagonal coming down through here. And now, guess what? This angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle. See? All right, so now let's see what we've got. We've got our given that AB and DC are parallel. Okay, we know that. And that AD and BC are parallel. Okay, that's given. Now what are we going to say? Well, we're going to say that the angles of ACD, ACD, the one with the two hash marks, is congruent to that one with the two hash marks. And this one with the one hash mark is congruent to that one with the one hash mark. And our reasoning is alternate interior angles of two parallel lines are congruent. If you're confused about this, I did a transversal postulate video, number 20, that you can watch to catch up to what that means. So now we've proven that two angles are congruent, those one and those ones, okay? So now we're going to make a statement that AC is equal to AC because it's the shared line of the two triangles. Our reasoning is the reflexive property of congruence, the identity rule. Now we've proven that Two sides are equal. Even though that's one line, it constitutes the side of this triangle and the side of that triangle saying it's two lines. Okay, it's two sides. Now we can say that this triangle is congruent to this triangle because of the angle side angle rule. So we've got two angles and a side proven and we've created the two triangles if you don't know what the angle side angle rule is, you can watch video number 104. I should have had that on here. And that'll tell you about the angle side angle rule. So that is our proof for a parallelogram with congruent triangles. Our next video is going to be another layout of a proof. It's going to be parallelogram bisecting diagonals. Aren't you excited? Hopefully I'll see you there.